Sometimes people call us in a panic and we may think we're going on a snake or a Gila monster call, but we show up and it's something completely different. So on this episode, you're gonna be watching us run some random non-snake calls. There's a turtle on his back down there. We gotta save it. I don't see a lot of turtles. Oh, you can fly, bye. <laughs> it's not a snake. I got it. Hello everybody, I am headed to Chandler. A lady, I guess, saw a snake under her washer. So I am headed that, right, that way now. It's not really an area where there should be rattlesnakes, but you know, we've seen crazier things. She didn't say it was a rattlesnake or anything like that, but just saying, just, just a mystery, mystery snake at this point. So uh, let's go. Snake went under the washer. So in this towel room? Uh, yes. Okay. And you just heard it like right before you called us? We'll see what it is. I'll hear something. It's not a snake. But it's, it's got... <laughs> it's not a snake. It's probably a lizard or a rodent, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll catch it. I'll, I'll do my best to catch it. Yeah, it's scratching, so it kind of sounds like a lizard actually. Well, I'm gonna shut this door so it doesn't escape. Oh, you're good. I got it! <laughs> I got it. It's not either what I said. Where'd you go? It's a bird. It was a bird. I got it. Yeah. Oh he was in your pipe. I undid it and he was just in there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, it's a bird. <laughs> Look at him, he's cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Yeah, poor thing. Good thing you heard him. He would have definitely got. He would have died, died in there. You want a picture of him? It was like a swallow or something. My aunt's not gonna believe this. <laughs> I was like surprised when I saw him. feathers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here. Oh, you can fly. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where's your air? Where's your vent? Is it? Is it high? Oh, it's that. Yep. Either that or it's that. Up there. Yeah, the flappy thing. Uh huh. It fell down in there. Oh. Sometimes they build their nests right there, and it must have just huh. got trapped. That's Mystery wild. solved. <laughs> I got a bird. I can't believe I got a bird. That was definitely a first and uh, really fun, actually. Hey everyone, headed out to a community in Peoria. Gentleman just called, he manages the community out there and I guess they have had seven rattlesnakes uh, over the last few days in one little area. I'm not too sure like how big this area is, what kind of structures are around, like where these snakes are hanging out. He says it's just shrubs, which is confusing because it's really hot and it's just like a weird spot for seven rattlesnakes to be hanging out in just shrubbery. But I'm headed there now to see what's going on and wrangle up all the rattlesnakes I can. So yeah, we'll see what, we'll see what is actually there. <laughs> Hello, again. Oh, so it's over here. So you, uh, you saw seven over the last few days or? Okay. Two, okay. So they're inside, they're coming out of this cage over here. Oh, okay. There's a bunch of like debris and stuff in there, so you don't want to like, 
you know, I don't know how far they're striped or anything. But when we opened up the hole right here, uh -huh. so we opened this hole up to get this pipe fixed. One literally came straight out of here and crawled down in there into this water and then came back inside here. So the opening for this Weird. is on this side. Yeah, so I don't know, they're somewhere in this debris, but they keep coming out of all this stuff. Oh, okay, is it like a pack rat nest in there? And there was a, like a mouse or a rat or something in there? Yeah. And you think they're all in here? This is a good not. spot. Oh, you're draining it? Yeah. Is that <gasps> flat with the There's a turtle on his back down there. We gotta save it. You see him? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go down there and get him real quick. Okay. If that's oh my okay. Gosh. I don't see a lot of turtles. Oh my gosh, I wonder how long he's been on his back. Oh wait. Is this normally shut? Yeah, usually it's, it's just shut onto the pipe. I wonder how many snakes fall in here too. I know, it's a big one. Yeah, he's alive, it's all his legs. <laughs> I think it's called a red ear slider. I don't know a lot about turtles. I don't see anybody else. Mm -hmm. Did he? Cool! Turtle rescue! <laughs> you would have died down there, bud. Probably a little bright. He was in there? Yeah, he fell down in there. She just rescued him. He's on his back. All right, sorry, my camera overheated, but not much happened besides me clearing out that whole pack rat right nest. So let me show you, let me show you what we got here. I had to cool off in the car here. First off, I rescued a turtle, my first turtle call. So I busted out my handy dandy book here because I know zero about turtles. So I wanted to see what kind it was. From the looks of it, let me show you here. It looks like it's that one because he had a little red there. It says pond slider. Not sure if that's the same exact thing. Very well could be non-native. I know a lot of people uh, release pets and stuff into these little pond areas. Whew, what a call. So yeah, I'm going to head back home, probably wait in traffic for a while because it's that time of day, but it's all right because I'm fueled on turtle power. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, I got to go. Hey everyone, I am headed to go grab a Gila monster, which is pretty cool because I have only got one other Gila monster call this year so far, but I guess it's by a pool heater and they need work on their pool equipment. So they, they would love to have it, but since there's going to be workers there they do want to make sure it's safe so I'm just gonna relocate it out of their yard for them so headed that way now. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Right behind that brown right there. This? Yeah, and then you'll see he's like in the Oh, okay, that's uh, it's not a heel monster. That's a chuckawalla. Uh, so let me see if I can grab him right now, but he might be too wedged in there. Hi, buddy. Can I touch you with something? Let me get a stick here. Yeah, no, these guys are great. They they just eat plants. Like their their whole thing is they live in the rocks, and their whole thing is I'm gonna poof up so you can't get me out of the rocks. That's their so predators don't eat them. So yeah. when they get in cracks and stuff, it's almost impossible to get them out because they poof up with air, just so you can't get them out. It's such a chuck Okay, well, it's a big one. Let me yeah. take a picture of it so I can show it to the cool guy. Yeah. But that's a bit, it is a big lizard. Yeah, it's a big lizard for sure. Completely harmless there. This ain't the cutest lizard you've ever seen. Okay. So cute. This is called Chuckwalla. And she definitely poofed up. And it was really hard to get her out of there. It's a good little crevice for her. She can hide away in. Alright. See you later, little girly. And she's going. Bye. Don't get many chuck wall calls. I got one before I couldn't get it out though. Still ongoing battle. I stop by that house all the time and try to get it out. It's wedged itself, but yeah, so they poof up and it's hard to get them. I like cut my knuckles trying to get, she wedged up against the wall there. But yeah, completely harmless. I think he just wanted it out of there. So the pool guy felt safe, but completely harmless lizard. Thanks for watching, bye.